We have a real solid fight in this one. YouTube's favorite designer fragrance tournament continues. The clock starts now. Number 26 goes head to head versus number 75. What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to Mark Madness to see which fragrance in the designer game is going to be YouTube's king. The contestants today, let's start with number 75. This is from the house of John Varvatos. My favorite from the John Varvatos house still to this day and that is Vintage. At number 26 in my top 100 was uh, Versace. Versace's Dreamer. This was the uh, top seller for the brand for quite a long time. So they're both uh, built into Al's bracket. Street Sense, what's going on, Al? If uh, you haven't subscribed to Al, I'll put a link down below in the description for you guys to go click a link and go check out Al's Street Sense. Now, let's take a look at the contestants, and as usual, we start with the underdog vintage. Let's go. Let's take a look at her. So, if you guys don't know any of these scents, I can help you out a little bit, let you guys know what I get from it. Very simple, straightforward. I do have reviews on both of these fragrances on my channel. So like I said earlier, in my personal opinion, even the newer releases, this is my favorite from the John Varvatos House Vintage. Um, beautiful scent, uh, perfect for the fall coming up. Um, it has a lot of notes that uh, really, um, really do well in the fall. So it is a tobacco-based scent. It's got some fur. Um, actually, this pulls a lot from this. Um, as far as the note breakdowns, if you take a look, you know, this one uses fur and this one uses fur too. Tobacco, of course, uh, both. Um, this one has tonka, some spices, uh, rhubarbs in there, um, as John Varvatos and Flores Ru. Uh, they're always very complex scents, but uh, very syrupy, of uh, spicy uh, fragrances. As far as longevity and projection, they're fairly average to low. Um, this one is, is decent as far as that goes, um, but a very good scent for the upcoming fall. Now to another 90s baby, Versace the Dreamer. Um, it seems like a lot in my top 100 list uh, come from the 90s and you know, that's that's my generation, right? That's what I grew up on and Dreamer was a top seller for Versace back in the day. Um, another tobacco based scent uh, with a heavy lavender. Um, the lavender hits you right up. Uh, very synthetic lavender, but it's there. I kind of like it. It's weird. Lavender is one of the notes that can make or break a scent for me. If it's really bad, it smells like a dryer sheet or, or cleaner. It just kills it for me. But some synthetic bad lavenders like uh, this one, I wouldn't say it's a bad lavender, but it's a very synthetic one. It still works for me. Um, and, and it's everything that surrounds it. So tobacco based uh, was arguably one of men's favorite uh, Versace releases for 10 plus years. Uh, longevity and projection are very good. Again, this bottle is from the early 2000s, I would assume. Um, I love wearing this one in the fall, winter. You could also pull it off, of course, with that heavy lavender in the in the spring too. Or rainy days, it works really well. But fall, these are both very good for fall. A good one from uh, Versace, if you haven't checked it out. An oldie, but a goodie. So if you're new to this, um, here's here's the rules for you. If you're 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 new to this. Um, I show you two scents. Um, they are from my top 100 designer uh, video. That is uh, my most viewed video on uh, my channel. Um, so that's where the ratings come from. Um, you guys, the subscribers, I don't have a horse in this race. Um, I let you guys do the voting. You comment below. You're going to see a bunch of comments. Every YouTube name has a vote. So if you got several accounts, good for you. <laughs> um, um, make your votes, of course, um, very much... Um, Make sure that uh, you know that I can read them, um, which means, you know, don't don't go off the board. Don't go too crazy. Um, some people are very uh, artistic with their comments, which I really appreciate because I go through hundreds of comments. But at the same time, um, 
I, I do want the comments section to be as low as can and just be a bunch of comments about the votes. Um, there is a 24 hour shot clock from um, this video being posted. You see this mug, that means it's been posted. There's 24 hours from that upload time and then voting is closed. I usually put in brackets closed. That means your vote won't count. Um, it's already been tallied, it's ready to go. Um, if you want to see what the brackets are, what, what other scents are, are coming up or, or whatnot, you can keep, uh, uh, keep tabs if you wish. You can download it. It's in the um, description down below. You can download it and you can print those brackets. So it's never too late. We're still in the first round. Um, we are getting closer to the end of the first round, but I still got a ways to go. Um, so definitely, if you want to do that, you can. And of course, we do have results that are in, as always. I don't think I've ever made a video without results, but it is what it is. So here we go. We got Narciso de Rodriguez for him, uh, one of my favorites, of course, and Black Excess, which is a, a nice, fun fragrance from the house of Paco Rabanne, which Paco Rabanne is always known for. Nice, fun fragrances. Black Excess is, is a good one. It's a solid one from them. Um, with a score of 67 to 15, kind of a massacre here. Narciso de Rodriguez, you stick around. <laughs> So Black Excess is gone. Um, very happy with this one. Um, moving on, it is uh, it's it's an artsy one, which I, I really really enjoy. And with a shirt like what I'm wearing right now, gray, um, this would actually be perfect right now. We have overcast right now in the weather, um, so I might be wearing that one tonight. So uh, thank you so much to everybody that voted in that bracket. Again, don't don't waste your time watching this video please comment below and vote and as always if you are taking the time to vote please uh press the like button uh, i'd love to 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 get those likes up uh with the comments i really would appreciate that and again thank you so much for everybody that participates in this uh challenge um even though it's a timely task for me to do this every day um at the same time, I, I love going through the comments and just seeing, especially in the next, the, the next round is going to be really exciting for me because there's some heavy hitters going head to head. So again, thank you so much. Have a good day.